Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. When you think of amazing wonders of nature, you think of things like the Grand Canyon and Victoria Falls. These landmarks, for all their beauty and majesty, kind of look possible. A waterfall may be majestic, but it is certainly not a scientifically impossible structure, right? Well, not all amazing landmarks are quite like that. There are some landmarks that are so impossible that we don't even know how they could even exist in the first place. Seriously, these places defy human and scientific imagination. Follow us on a tour of the top 10 most scientifically impossible places to exist. Number 10. The Mystery of Devil's Kettle Falls Why on earth would a place be named Devil's Kettle? That sounds like an objectively terrible name, but you'll soon learn why this place has to take on this bad name. Devil's Kettle is in Minnesota, and is on the north shore of Lake Superior. It's in Judge C.R. Magny State Park, and the kettle is the main attraction of the falls. The Devil's Kettle is basically a waterfall with a strange twist. At the falls, a river forks out of a rock outcropping. One side of the waterfall tumbles now normally, down a two-step stone embankment, while another side of the waterfall tumbles down a deep hole and vanishes, forever. Over the years, scientists have thrown all manner of things in the hole. Their mission, of course, is to find where the water disappears to, but they've never found any of the items, and they've never found where the other half of the waterfall goes to. Now, the conundrum is, the sheer volume of water pouring into the hole every day tells us that the ground couldn't just be soaking it up. The water has to be going somewhere. Scientists have theorized that the water may be forming an underground river. But the fact remains that we simply don't know for sure, and we may never know the answer to this mystery. Number 9. The Toxicity of Lake Karache. Did you know that spending up to an hour at Lake Karache may actually kill you? Well, now you do. But first, where is Lake Karache, and why is it so deadly? Lake Karache is a Russian lake that is considered to be one of the most polluted places on the planet. If you stood on the shore of the lake in 1990, you would be exposed to a dose of about 600 Röntgen, which is more than enough to kill you. Why is this lake so toxic, though? Is it a natural occurrence, or was there something more? No, it's not natural, and there's a story. The lake is actually located within the Mayak Production Association, a place known for being one of the largest and leakiest nuclear facilities in Russia. The entire lake was kept secret by Russia until the 1990s, and it's a general belief that the government was busy dumping nuclear waste into a river throughout this period of invisibility. Today, most of the lake has been covered with concrete, but it is still incredibly dangerous. Number 8. The Light of Kawajen. In Indonesia, right near the site of a volcano, there lies a sulfur mine. The volcano has no risk of eruption and is dormant, as far as we know at least. But at night, a remarkable thing happens in the mountain. A neon blue substance spills out down its side, looking like a river of lava, but a blue kind. However, as far as we know, blue lava doesn't exist. When this phenomenon started manifesting, a lot of locals were scared. I mean, regular lava is scary enough, but blue lava? Absolutely not. Apparently, this was caused by the sulfur being mined from within the volcano. He causes the sulfur gas that is trapped inside to build up and escape, and this causes blue flames to shoot right into the air. The gas then kind of liquefies, then flows right down the mountain. And that's what causes the blue lava. Number 7. The Lights of Hestalen. In Norway, just over the Hestalen Valley, there's a unique phenomenon that locals have been seeing. At night, locals often observe floating lights of white, yellow, and red across the night sky. These lights have now been christened as the Hestalen Lights, and they've been known to appear when it's dark and can last from a few seconds to more than an hour. The lights are sometimes quite slow and may seem to float in the midair, and at other times they could be really fast and may move at incredible speeds. The lights have been sighted since at least the 1930s, and scientists have been unable to explain exactly what they are. Some say the lights may have been caused by ionized iron dust, but the fact remains that we cannot conclusively tell what the lights are or what they are made of. Number 6. The Double Tree Do you think that there could be a double tree? Is that something you think could happen? No, right? How could a double tree exist? Well, it does, right between the towns of Grana and Cazorzo in Piemont, Italy. There's a site that may make you look twice. On the side of the road, there's a large mulberry tree that has a cherry tree growing through the center of it. The amazing thing about this scientific abnormality is that both trees are healthy. That isn't something you see every day, but this tree doesn't care about what you see every day. But how did this abnormality happen? What was the cause? Well, scientists believe that the seeds for the cherry tree growing in the middle of the mulberry tree was actually dropped by birds. Number 5. 
What makes the boiling river boil? Have you ever considered a boiling river? Yes, an actual river that boils. You haven't? You probably think it's impossible, right? Well, you'd be wrong. In the Amazon, there is a four mile long river that is actually boiling. That's right, the Chennai Tempishka River, as it is often called, has a temperature of 196 degrees Fahrenheit and actually boils anything that enters the water. Yes, that includes animals too. But how is this even possible? How can a river boil? Is that even possible? Well, it is, and in a way, that's what makes the case of the Chennai Tempishka River even more peculiar. Rivers can get to a boiling point if they are near a volcano, but the Chennai Tempishka River is 700 kilometers from a nearby volcano. So what could make the river boil? No one knows really. Not the scientists, not the rangers, not the locals, no one. And the river continues to boil. In fact, scientists have observed animals falling into the river and actually being cooked inside out. The likeliest scenario that scientists have put forward is that there's a fault line beneath the river that actually heats it up. Unsurprisingly, they've never been able to prove that theory. Number four, the Forgotten Cave. This cave is located near Mangalia in Constanta country, Romania. The cave was recently discovered and scientists have discovered that the cave was deprived of sunlight for over 5.5 million years. That's before humans even appeared on the earth. Imagine that. Now, since this cave didn't see light for almost 6 million years, it grew an entirely different atmosphere from the one in Earth. The cave was actually discovered by a group of workers who were looking to set up a power plant. During their tests, they discovered that there was a pathway that led to the strangest cave on Earth. So what was inside that cave? Well, they discovered a poisonous lake. Additionally, the air of the cave was toxic and was filled with hydrogen sulfide. Interestingly, the scientists discovered a whole ecosystem of new species of spiders, leeches, and water scorpions. Is that cool or what? Number three, the hum of Teo. We know this video is about places that couldn't scientifically exist, but right now we are going to be looking at a phenomenon that is so unexplainable that scientists have been able to unsolve it for 20 years. 20 years? Yes, 20 years. But what is the hum of Teo exactly? And why has it stumped even the best scientists for the last two decades? Well, Teo is a small town in New Mexico. The residents of the area have been complaining of a small humming sound that they cannot seem to get rid of, and these complaints have been coming in since the 1990s at least. After persistent complaining, scientists arrived in the area. However, even after 20 years, they've not been able to fully explain the humming sound. In fact, the inability of scientists to explain the humming sound has led some residents to believe that their brains actually generated the sound on its own. But how possible is that? To make things even more incredible, some scientists have said that the humming sound is actually because residents of the town are superheroes. Imagine that, a whole town of superheroes and their superpowers that they can hear humming sounds? Really, how possible is that? We really can't tell. Now it's time for today's best pick. Our best picture for today was sent in by a subscriber. If you come across a picture online and would like to know more about it, you can send it in to us. Who knows, your picture might even get featured in a future video. Number two, the Bermuda Triangle. You've probably heard of the Bermuda Triangle before, and if you haven't, well, today's your lucky day. The Bermuda Triangle is located in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean and is a loosely defined triangle between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. According to the US Navy, this area doesn't exist. Well, it does exist, but they've stubbornly refused to acknowledge that it is an area of interest. However, what they cannot seem to explain is how aircraft and ships have disappeared in this triangle in the past. While most ships and planes that pass through the triangle do so safely, there was an odd time where they all seemed to disappear. Many believe that the triangle is actually the location of the lost underwater city of Atlantis, and it's difficult to argue against that. After all, there must be a reason as to why so many ships get missing immediately after they enter the triangle. Maybe the people of Atlantis hijack the ships and planes in search of supplies? Who knows? No one really. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, the petrifying well. In North Yorkshire, England, there lies a most stunning site. It's one of the UK's oldest tourist sites and it's right on the banks of the Nid River. It's a cave that kind of looks like a skull. Yes, no jokes. However, that isn't even the strangest thing about this site. Legend says that anything that the water of this cave touches turned to stone. Of course, scientists didn't believe this legend at first, so they set out to test it. 
They left items near the cave in order to see whether they would turn to stone, and amazingly, the items took on a stint exterior in very little time. But how? How is this even possible? Well, scientists also discovered that the water of the cave has unusually high mineral content. This explains why the items touched by the water develop a hard shell after some time. However, scientists cannot seem to explain why this process is so fast. The process of regular items forming hard shells is meant to take years, but it takes mere weeks for this cave water to turn items to stone. Perhaps one day scientists will have an answer for us, but as of today, they do not. That's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also check the channel out. We have lots of great videos for you. Goodbye, and stay safe.